We're combining lentils today. Um, this is should probably be some of our weakest stuff. Derek Talon's lentil crop didn't stand a chance this year. It had very little rain, then was blasted by the heat, the wind, and then grasshoppers too. Yeah, so there's only a handful of lentils here. The grasshoppers have shelled out a lot of what was here. The production is down to almost nothing. With harvest underway, it's the worst yield he's ever had. This year I'd say we, our farm will be around uh, 20 to 25 percent of normal production, so down like say 75, 80 percent production. A financial hit for prairie farmers, but also less food for the world. They called it the hungry 30s. Compared to the 1930s, today's drought is shaping up to be more severe and more widespread. It also extends far beyond Canada, including the western half of the United States. And for food security, we have to look at this globally as well. There are severe droughts in the Mediterranean region, in uh, Kazakhstan, in Russia, um, of course in the western U.S. These days, farming innovations help growers eke out more crop with less moisture, but with limits. We just haven't had enough rain to produce, uh, produce a crop, so we've got, we've got a crop failure on our hands right now. After 50 years of farming, Barry Reisner says he's prepared for it. We have had a number of good crops in the last 10 years or so, and uh, it shouldn't be a surprise that uh, they can't all be good. But he worries about farmers who may also face financial penalties after signing contracts with grain companies months ago to guarantee shipments and prices. Farmers that have signed those contracts don't have the grain to deliver and uh, they have a commitment that they can't meet. As for Talon, he's both a realist and an optimist. The low production of cereal grains and oil seeds is driving up prices to record levels on the world market. I guess that's our, that's our hope right now is that we grow a crop next year and we can capitalize on the, on the price increases that we've seen. He's resilient even when his crops aren't. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan.